Basil from Grayson Hobby, and what we're going to do today, we're going to do some kind of how-to videos. And the first one we're going to do here is something very simple. It's the Grayson Hobby Digital Voltage Display. Uh, what this does, this measures the voltage of each cell. It doesn't balance, doesn't charge. It just measures the voltage, which is good when your uh, battery pack is in a tight squeeze in an aircraft, and you want to you want to check it for proper balance. Um, you don't have to unstrap and for your pack from the plane you just simply you can fit since the size of this is so small you just you know work that way into the plane hook it up to the balancing taps and you have your your voltage so what we're going to do we're going to do a little demo here today uh, this is a x power uh dolsky x power pack 620 uh, this one came off the charger and i don't think i've used this one so we'll test it out here so what you simply do you simply just take the leads or the the uh what do you call these um balancing tap leads take them off of the uh battery and you simply plug them into the balance and the voltage to the device right here so negatives will go on the bottom and you can see right here when it's plugged in the LED will automatically illuminate and will automatically cycle each cell now that little dot right there represents the cell it's on not the not the decimal point in the voltage and it also reads right to left it reads this way so that is cell 1 this is cell 2 and that is cell 3 one two and three so what this is saying right here this saying cell one is 4.07 volts cell two is 4.87 volts and cell three is 4.06 volts virtually balanced pack okay we'll take a two cell pack here obviously you're not gonna have a th three readings on the th two cell pack simply plug it in the negative to the bottom again and there you have your reading. You have 4.08, 4.87, and a not this missing cell, which is a two cell pack, so this is good. Now, if this were a three cell pack and it gave you that reading, then you definitely would have a problem and definitely don't want to charge another three cell charging if you don't have a balancing charger. So right there, if this was a three cell pack, it would definitely would, would save you a potential fire hazard. Okay? So we're gonna do the thunder power next. And you simply just take your thunder power uh, adapter balancing port and you plug this into the adapter well as you can see here this don't this doesn't fit it doesn't fit this way it doesn't fit this way so what we have we have this little nifty difty um, adapter this adapter plug simply onto there you hit the little click and then then you simply plug this into your um, voltage display so as you can see the see the leads here is uh, 3.83, 3.83, and 3.83. Now, as you notice, I'm sure some of you already noticed that the negative is on top. Well, if you can follow the, the leads right here, black is on the bottom, black's on the bottom, it stops, and then automatically turns red. It's just the color of the wire. Negative is always in the bottom. Just because the color is red, it means it's still negative. And like I say earlier, if you did plug it in backwards, um, it's not going to do any do any damage to anything but obviously you don't want to leave it leave it in there that long like this um, you don't want to leave this hooked it all day because it will draw power and we have we demonstrated these at Ceph and we watched our pack go from four point you know three or something like that to around um, three almost two two point five it's an old pack so we didn't really care but you definitely don't want to leave it in there all day long it definitely does draw some some power but when you're doing a quick test that that little that little bit of draw is doesn't um, doesn't hurt it. What this won't measure, obviously, this won't measure um, packs without balancing taps on it. You know, um, if you don't have a balancing tap in your pack, you can't balance it through a charger and you can't test it each cell. And the only way you can do that is with a watt meter or a multimeter or some other tool. But this will not work on anything like that. So, in closing here, um, this little nifty tool is on our website under electronic accessories. Shows you little, your little voltage of each cell, and fits in your shirt pocket, pant pocket, hitch in your hand. You throw it at somebody, leave it in your plane. Um, Read neat little tool.